In this lesson, we're going to look at how to multiply and divide functions. So here's our first example. They give us an equation or a function f, and they give us a, a function g. And then this little dot in the middle just means they want us to multiply them. So all that we'll do is we'll just go f dot g of x equals to the first one in brackets, the second one in brackets, and then we'll just use FOIL. Remember FOIL is a nice way to remember how to multiply the two brackets together. So the F stands for first and first, so that's the first one and the first one. So if you had to multiply those two together, you're going to end up with 8x cubed. Then the O stands for the outer, so the most outer one on that side and the most outer one on that side, and so that's going to be negative 4x squared. The I stands for inner, so the most inner ones, so that's those two over there, so that's going to be negative 4x squared again. And then the L stands for the last and the last, and so that's going to be positive, because two negatives make a positive, like that. Then what we should do is just go put these two together, so that would give us negative 8x squared plus 2x. Here's our next example. So they give us two equations, g, or two functions, g and h, and they just want us to multiply them. So we can say g and, and h of x equals to 4x plus 1 multiplied with x squared take away x. And so we use FOIL once again. So first times first would give us 4x cubed. The outers, meaning this one and this one, and that's going to be negative 4x squared. Then it's the inners, so that would be this one and this one, which is going to be that. And then L times L, which means well, last, is the last one and the last one. And so that's going to give us negative x. And so if you had to work that out, it's going to give you 4x cubed, take away 3x squared, take away x. In our next example, we're actually going to be doing divide. So here's our next one. So we're going to be dividing them now. See, it's g at the top, h at the bottom. So we're going to say g over h of n is going to be equal to, uh, but that's an h. Okay, so it's going to be n squared plus 4 take away 2n over 3n. Now, you could always try to factorize this or simplify it, but in this case, it's not actually going to work. Um, this is a trinomial, uh, if we write it in the other way, uh, so the negative 2n and then plus 4. That is a trinomial, but you wouldn't be able to factorize it. So there's not much we can actually do here. So this is pretty awkward, but that's literally the answer. For this last example, we're going to divide them again. But now instead of putting a t over here, you know normally this would have been a t, they're putting a number. So what that means is divide them first, and then once you've done that, wherever you see a t, replace it with a 1. That's what that means, okay? So we're going to go divide them first. So let's call it f over g, and let's keep it as a t for now. What that means is we're not substituting any numbers in just yet. Okay, so that's what that would have been. Now we can just take this number 1. I mean, you could have tried to simplify this a little bit, but that can't really simplify. So we're just going to take this 1, and we're going to plug it into all of the places of t. So it's going to look like this. So wherever I see a t, I replace it with a 1. And so at the top, you're going to end up with 2. At the bottom, you're going to end up with 1 minus 4. And so that's going to give us 2 over negative 3, which is the same as saying negative 2 over 3.